Well, 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 if it isn't my trusty YouTube subscribers, thank you guys so much for coming back for a second helping of Midnight Run. Thank you again, and you know what I'm gonna say. If you haven't subscribed, give her a little tickle, give her a little lick down there at that like button, leave a comment. Really helps me out, really helps out the production, it really helps out the channel. Thank you guys again for tuning in. But, last thing I gotta say before we start this video. If you're not down, if you don't want to learn about some sick new gear, some sick new technology, you better just get the hell out of here. Just get the hell out of here. If you don't want to learn about the sick new Sig Sauer Kilo 3000 BDXs, you should just get the hell out of here because that's what we're talking about today. These things are absolutely tits. Absolutely tits. I am so fortunate and so blessed to be able to get my dick beaters on a pair of one of these Kilo 3000 BDXs. It doesn't matter if you are a long range shooter, it doesn't matter if you are a hunter, it doesn't matter if you're a bird watcher, it doesn't even matter if you are trying to get the perfect shot off at your least favorite politician. These must be in your kit. They are absolutely phenomenal and I am so excited that I have a pair. I'm just, I'm just getting all excited even just touching them again. They are absolutely awesome, and uh, I am blown away with the performance that these these are these things have. Very very powerful, way more powerful even than my OnlyFans addiction. That's why I went with the Kilo three thousands. I don't really have anywhere around here that I can see past fifteen hundred yards, two thousand yards. I live in Connecticut. It's New England. It's mountainous. There's hills. There's trees. There's a lot of rough terrain. Don't really have much field of view can't really see too far. But there are different models. Um, these are going to run you about 1300 bucks, the OD green ones, and then you can get black ones for I think like 900 bucks. I've seen different prices, definitely go shop around, but these ones were roughly 1300 um, bucks. You have different models. I got my trusty sheet, cheat sheet here. You got the Kilo 10K ABSs, and then you got the Kilo 6K HDs. Again, I chose the 3000s because I can't see much in New England. There's not really too, too far I can do. I'm not really making shots out past a thousand yards. So I have no need for um, a pair of binoculars and a rangefinder that are that has more power than the 3000. Your Kilo 10Ks, you're looking at around 2,700 bucks. And then the Kilo 6Ks, you're looking at about 1,400 bucks. So hope your pockets are deep because these are not cheap, but you will not recommend it. This was my old range finder. This was the Kilo 1200 four by 20 millimeter, just your standard range finder. It was all right. Um, I was reaching out. I really noticed that it was struggling past 800, 800 yards. Um, it just did not like anything past 800 yards and it seemed like that was at the end of its life or end of its power was around 800 yards even though it says 1200. Um, it wasn't bad. If you're just, you know, if you're just going out hunting or you're going shooting steel where, where targets are just kind of stationary, um, probably this isn't a bad bet for you, but compared to this thing, I want, it's absolute junk. These Kilo 3000s are the way of the future. Um, these are, by, it's a binocular and range finder mix, and uh, they have a lot of different things that you can do with them. So I have my trusty card here with all the modes. There's so many different modes and settings and stuff. I can't remember all of them. So we're just gonna talk about these modes, me and you. First things first, the AMR mode, angle modified range. This is the default mode for the Kilo. AMR is the equivalent horizontal range to your target and it is most commonly used in archery or with SIG ballistic turrets. So if you're using a SIG scope or if you're doing some sort of archery or something like that, this, uh, you would probably want to do the AMR setting. That is your standard setting. That is the default setting. LOS, line of sight, provides the true distance to your target plus the angle of incline decline. LOS is commonly used with ballistic calculators in order to calculate elevation holds. This is the one that I'm using. It gives you your incline and decline of the target, the angle of the target, and it provides you that true, true distance. I've noticed that the, that the LOS setting is probably the best one. 
and I do, um, and I use a Kestrel too. So it seemed like that one was kind of working best with the LOS mode. ABU, this one's pretty cool. Well, uh, this one's pretty cool. We'll dive into this one a little more. This is the ABU Applied Ballistics Ultralight. It's used in conjunction with the BDX app in order to create custom ballistic profiles that sync with your kilo and leverage environmental data for precise elevation and wind holds. So I don't have too, too much experience with the uh, BDX app and I don't have too, too much experience using these with the BDX app. But um, I was messing around with it and I did find out that it is pretty accurate. Um, I looked up the temperature, it calculated the temperature, it picked up the elevation where I was at almost instantly, and it was all pretty accurate. I just used a, just a fake, I called it the ghetto blaster setting, which is just, it was just a 308 bullet, 168 grain, nothing crazy. Didn't really make too many adjustments for it. It's just kind of a made up load. So I haven't put any of my actual loads into the BDX app, but, that's something that I definitely want to do and I definitely want to see how accurate it is and stuff like that. I use a Kestrel, so I use the Applied Ballistics app and it just kind of links better from there. That's what I've been using for a while and um, I, I will definitely test, text, test out the BDX app, but again, I don't want to give my two cents on it if I don't really know too, too much about it, but I will definitely bring that out to the range and I will see how accurate it is and I will see how accurate the data it is that it's collecting. Um, but going back to the modes, you got the ABX, ABE. This is the Applied Ballistics External. This isn't found on all Kilo models. Allows you to pair with external devices with Applied Ballistics on board. Also, that's if you want to use, I'm pretty sure, again, I haven't tried, I haven't tried doing this one, but it, it sounds like you can you can pair a Kestrel to these and then they just jive all together. First, first mode, first target mode is used to detect smaller targets at close ranges. So if you don't want that 3,000 yard target or something like that and you're going squirrel hunting or whatever it may be where you're close and it's a small target, that first mode is probably your best one. It's just gonna calculate how, it's gonna calculate smaller targets in a closer range for better shooter experience. Best, best target mode is used in most hunting or target situations where the target is clear and, un and unobstructed. That's what I'm using. I shoot steel, I shoot targets that aren't moving, stationary targets. So that is the one that I'm using. I'm using the best mode because it's 99% of the time they're unobstructed, they're not moving and it's easy to range. So if you're going to the range and you're using these for long range or uh, target shooting, that's probably the mode that you're, want, you're, gonna, you're gonna use. Um, last, last target mode is used when shooting through dense brush or on targets that might be obscured by grass or foliage. So if you're out in the woods and you're out in the bushes and you're running around and you're tracking something, you're tracking a deer, you're tracking a big old grizzly bear, that's the one that you're probably, wanna, you're probably gonna use when foliage and obstructions and obstacles and in, in, in trees and whatnot are, uh, are in your way and in the binoculars ways, they're gonna know that and it's gonna help you out for a better shooter experience. This one's really cool. This one's really cool that we have technology out there that can do this. Fog, fog mode may be useful when the fog or light mist is present. And I did use this one, I did use this one and it was pretty cool. It picks up, it, it can tell where like fog, what, it can tell where the target is past the fog and mist and stuff like that. So that is a pretty, pretty cool technology and cool feature that these binoculars know where the target is if they are inside fog or mist or something like that. It will punch through that fog and it will range you and it will give you that exact data past that fog, looking past that, looking past that mist. XR, extended range mode can, can be used for targets at extreme distances and or when the rangefinder is in is tripod mounted. The scan rate will drop to one times per second. That's pretty cool. So I don't really know what the extended range, I'm not really sure if there's a set number, if there's a set meter or a set yardage that you should put this thing in if you're trying to range it out to, 
for the extended range. Um, so I'll have to look. I'll have to look into that a little more. But the extended range mode is used for for extreme distances. I'm gonna probably look out to 2,000, 3,000 yards. That's probably your extend range that you want to do. Um, you have APP. Use for a custom ballistic profile you configured in the BDX smartphone app. So that would be perfect scenario would be the one that I put into the, into the app that I showed you guys was the ghetto blaster. So that was, you're making these customizable bullets, these customizable loads, and then you're putting them in there. You're probably wanna gonna use the APP mode. But, so these are, that is all the features that the Kilo 3000 BDX does. It, is an all around phenomenal product. Phenomenal. It's extremely durable. It's very, it has like the nice grip, the rubberized grip around it. So when you're sucking on your fingers, you're drooling all over yourself, you're all sweaty and uh, you can grab onto these things and <clears throat> get them really good. And uh, so very durable, shock resistant, very, very tough. And um, I'm all about these binoculars. They are, they are absolutely awesome. I cannot say enough. I definitely recommend everybody going out there and checking them out. I know they're a little expensive, but you will not. You will not regret it. Um, having a great, great time using these. A lot of different features. A lot more features than I, I've, I've even scratched the surface of. I'm reading through this thing. I mean, you know, we're men. We're men. We don't read directions. We just go out trial and error. So now that I'm actually going through this card and going through the directions, there are a lot of other features that I did not know um, were there. So this is a good video for me and you. <laughs> but uh, definitely, definitely something to check it out, guys. Um, this was just a quick video on just some features about them. What I'm, my opinion on the Kilo 3000s. And um, right now I'm gonna give it a solid A. These things are absolutely phenomenal. Super, super crisp, clear glass. Super, super accurate. No lag, no nothing. You press that range button and it tells you, it spits you out your data right there. So definitely, definitely a cool piece of gear. Definitely recommend everybody getting in there. Um, don't worry about being poor, okay? Don't worry about being poor because you got these. These are, these are worth being poor for. Um, definitely will help you out. Definitely will help you out with your shooting experience, your hunting experience. And again, even if you're trying to make the perfect shot on your least favorite politician, these are a must. But um, that's it. That's going to be a wrap for today. Just do a brief overview on the Kilo 3000 BDX is the 10 by 42 millimeter. And again, chef's kiss. They absolutely are. But thank you guys so much for tuning in to the channel. We got some more videos coming. We got a lot more content coming. Podcast is rolling. Everything's coming back together. And it's going to be great. It's going to be great. We're going to make uh, we're, the YouTube channel is going to come back. And uh, I'm going to see you guys all there. Thank you so much again for tuning into the channel. Definitely go hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave that comment. And tell me how much you hate me. Uh, check out the Instagram. We're going to be doing a we're going to be doing a giveaway for some shirts. All of the money is going to uh, a foundation or charity or whatever. We'll do it. We'll bring it back. But again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you back out there. Good luck. God bless. Inzaya.